Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. All right, we're in Warsaw, Poland for the audio video show, and we're here at the stadium where the bigger exhibitors are. The show organizer, are you still in one piece? Yeah, I just slept three hours today. Well, that's good. You look good. You look good. We're just going to go room to room and see what's going on. So here's the Focal room. Focal name. You want to show me around what you got here? So show me your room. Yeah, Magda. Because this year we are celebrating the third uh, anniversary of Perum Brand. That you have a chance to speak with our uh, main engineer, Max Matuszak. And maybe Max uh, will tell you a little bit more about uh, our products. Okay. Show me what you got here. Okay, so here is our newest product, which is, da which is our newest DAC, Vandla. Uh, and uh, it is based on the ESS 9030 Pro. However, we are using different current to voltage converter. It's our new design because most of, I mean, it is quite often said that uh, ESS based DACs all sound the same. They have, they have the Saber Sun signature. We've redesigned its current to voltage converter. It's our new design. And that way we, we were able to achieve, you know, to get beyond this ESS-based uh, typical uh, sound signature. Right. And that's why Vandla sounds completely different. Uh, it is our composite amplifier, this current voltage converter. Uh, it is based on two integrated circuits. And uh, because of the special compensation circuitry, it is able to perform as it is performing. And what is so plus it's a stream, streaming deck? Not, not, not yet, yet. Not, okay. not yet, not yet. Basically, you know, we just wanted, you know, what, what we do in future is kind of, there's a question mark, but basically, of course, you know, we, we have to do some kind of streamer or something like this. Right. But this thing, you know, we just wanted to focus on making, you know, the best possible deck um, as we could. Right so what does this cost? Um, uh, it's too cheap. <laughs> too cheap? <laughs> it's too cheap. No, no, I'm joking. I mean, you know, that's 2,800 USD. Okay. So, so basically, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of expensive, but at the same time... It's not know, expensive. Yeah, I know, but you know. But it's are, dependable. It, it, yes. You know, it's dependable. But basically, you know... And who, who imports it to America now? Vanna. Vanna Limited. Oh, that? Okay. Roy Feldstein. Okay. You yeah. know him. So of course. Yeah. All right. Let's see what kind of turntable they have here. Odyssey turntable. I don't know this turntable. Is your turntable? Yes, yeah, that's mine. And where is this made? Uh, it's made in. Uh, what? How? Where? Yeah, who, where is it manufactured? I it's in Poland. Oh. Yes, it's Polish. And is this new? Because I haven't seen this before. Yeah, I mean, it's the second time I'm in uh, here in Warsaw. Um, last year I was for the first time. I missed you. I've been doing this for like seven years. Oh. So yeah, it's, it took some time to, to make it. It's the second higher version of the twin tables I made. It's uh, Odyssey. It's much more advanced than the first one. The first one you can see is a biscuit hotel. It's a mission of the second generation. So right here I applied all the changes that I couldn't put into the, the first one. And what is so the drive? What is the drive mechanism? It's a, it's a belt drive. But it's a belt drive with one motor. It's inside. It's separated. Uh, so it's a separate case. Uh, only one motor and it gets really good one flatter, one of the best, I mean the only best, but the twin table I think is AMG, German one. What's the platter made out of? Uh, excuse me? What's it manufactured out of, the platter? The material? Oh, the, the platter is a stainless steel, got three platters. The first one is stainless steel, so it's a drive one, right. it's four kilograms. The second one is stainless steel, it's 80 kilograms. Eight, and this, the, the third one is uh, the POM, oh, okay. the Delrin. They are separated. So it's, they, they did not interfere with each other, so it's right. like every single one is separated. Okay. And what does this cost, the basic turntable? Um, well, uh, we're still thinking about it, but it will be around 25000 Okay. With an arm or with, a, with, arm. with, a, with, with one arm. arm? With one arm. One arm, yes, definitely. How, is that an 12-inch arm? No, it's 14, 14. Direct, uh, direct wires. It's a silver monocrystalline polish or direct wires. So it's a really, really nice one. It's uh, basically it's uh, carbon fiber with stainless steel and uh, 
Yeah, it's an aluminium in the place where it's not necessary. Is that a unit pivot? Yes, unit. Okay. But it's not a classic one because it's unit pivot with a side stabilization, so it's not swinging around. Right. And what, what is the side? Is it, is it a swash plate kind of side stabilization with something that slides? Let me show you that. So it's something like. Yeah, there's PDFE. I see. Rope up. Oops, sorry, did I bang into that? Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. PDFE inside, so it's not ringing because, you know, if it's a hard material, then it will ring. Right. So it's PDFE uh, with a uh, row inside, so it stabilizes the arm. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so you're the designer of the Odyssey. Many, Odyssey. many, audio, many audio two tables. Uh, my name is Tomek van Jutje. How do we spell that? T O M A S Z F R A N I E L C Z Y K. Do the best I can with that. Okay, thank, thank you. No bo w tym momencie to mieści tylko 22 płyty, w wersji docelowej produkcyjnej ma dwa razy więcej, czyli tam 45. W wersji trzeciej, czyli jeszcze rozszerzonej, jesteśmy w stanie podwoić ten magazyn, który jest na górze, symetrycznie do tego, co jest na dole i wtedy dużo większe to nie jest, a jednocześnie ma dwa razy większą pojemność, czyli w wersji docelowej, to co tutaj widzicie, to jest wersja beta, bardzo prototypowa. Is, is it working? Uh, yeah, it's working, but uh, outside the stage. If you know, the showroom is especially uh, prone to some breakages and uh, we wanted to show here how it's working and we wanted to show here here how it's run over and uh, turn over the but, final record but, but exactly for this moment a uh, couple of uh, electrical components burn out and we have it fixed just couldn't will you have it fixed later on during the yeah, show uh, unfortunately not oh. uh, because it's uh, during the weekend and we cannot order it in time uh, it's a process version and uh, unfortunately we cannot do it um, so it, it turns over the record and it also plays and then it, it'll change the record. Yeah, everything from the app on our phone and uh, we, if you want you can go to our website and check the app on the phone. And what is your website? Uh, Lemmy slash LP dot com and uh, on the end of the presentation you will have the QR code. Unfortunately uh, this stand should look a lot better. We have uh, planned the uh, uh, a lot of, a lot more of showroom, but uh, hey, first time you're at a show. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, welcome, I know, I welcome know. to the show. But, uh, and can you use any turntable you want in there? Uh, for in first, uh, we want to use only automatic turntables just to simplify the process of for us. Yep. And then we want to make the manual turntables too. Okay. Uh, so we are waiting for the client and uh, for them to tell us which turntable they want to put it and so we can customize it okay. for it. All right. okay. It's uh, limited, yeah. but uh, we can make it cool. uh, uh, for a lot of, a lot of... And where is this made in Poland? Yeah, it's fully developed in Poland. Uh, it will be made in Poland. We don't want to order from China bulk. Right. Uh, we want to... Local, make it local, here. of course. Yeah, local, local. It's, uh, and it handles the record gently. It's our highest priority okay. to make uh, records safe and clean in the process. So our, uh, if you would buy this uh, product, uh, we would ship it for you. And in the process of uh, installing it in your own apartment or house, we would also clean the records to place it before you get it. Yeah. How many how many records does it does it hold? Here you have 22, but uh, in the later uh, the go to pro uh, the go to product uh, the go to product uh, will have 45. Oh. And okay. you can double it uh, on both sides. So here is the compact version, the lower version uh, to apartments, but uh, later on uh, the whole magazine can be uh, double down and make it lower. Two, okay. Yeah, so you don't go a lot bigger in the size, but you have double the size of and the. Can you, can you uh, add, a, add a refrigerator and have a wine cooler in there also? No, <laughs> it's separate, uh, sold separately. Okay. Sold separately, <laughs> okay. but we can. Uh, 
arrange it on our website. Maybe? <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a lovely day. You too. Phone section, and I promise you that on day two of the show tomorrow, you will not be able to get in here. It'll be absolutely insane. Here's the future of high end audio. It's right here. Okay, this guy's doing it right. He's got a turntable here. That's their direct drive version of this turntable. If you can pronounce that name, you win the turntable. cleaning machines, waterfall. These are these are made in Poland? Yes. Yes, it's designed and made in Poland. And how much do these cost? Uh, 3,000 uh, zlotys. And this is a professional model with uh, uh, with uh, fabricating brush right. made uh, with, uh, with gold. Yes? So it's very very sensitive for, for and this will cost how much? Uh, four thousand. Four thousand. Nice and quiet. Is it quiet? Doesn't make a lot of noise. I can show you. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Watch it.
Cheers. Okay, here's the project lineup as we always see. Classic Evo. The RPM 9 Carbon. This is like the dog shows. The Cardigan Welsh Corgi, the PBGV, the PBGV, the X2B, the X8 Evo. These things are looking formidable. As time passes, they look more and more formidable. Here's the I don't have to say what this is. <laughs> okay, let me see what's going on here. Um, we have upgraded the tone arm for the 1600 series. It's called TP160 and it's a knife edge bearing tone arm. And um, hopefully, you can, I can show it on the. Here, maybe you have a better look. Let's see that. That's a better look. Oh. That's a much better look. And uh, these, uh, these, this knife is really very sharp, with very low friction. And if you look at the details, bah, 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 uh, the knife is also guided by, by magnets. Um, so we are pushing with these magnets the knife in, at, uh, at this end point. And there are four other magnets which um, Pull the uh, down? The, the knife down oh. into the groove. Oh. Interesting. And this is um, yeah now available for the 1600 series. So if you have the older arm, you could replace it with the new arm, or this is possible, but there's a lot to do because we have to change the whole oh. uh, sub chassis board. We have to change okay, not this a aluminium idea. board and the alu uh, and um, and also the tone arm board. You can do, but it's a lot of yeah. uh, work. So I, I would prefer to buy a new, a new turntable. turntable. Right. Yeah. All right. So that's the, that's the 1601. Yes, 1601 with TP 160. Okay. Anything else new to show me here? Have you seen the anniversary? This is the TD 124 anniversary version because we are celebrating our 140th anniversary this wow. year. Sorry, I didn't uh, put the cartridge on it because too risky. Yes. Uh, we have made, uh, to, together with Autophone, we have an anniversary uh, cartridge with silver coils. Also the arm, this is an upgrade to the standard version. The arm has silver wires and we have this five millimeter thick uh, copper plate on wow. top. That's very nice. Limited on 140 pieces. 122 are already sold, so wow. <laughs> not too bad. Yeah? Sold to customers or sold to dealers? Uh, both. Both? Yeah. That's great. And it's 50, so what does that translate it's into? 12,000 <coughs> euro. Oh, that's great. Including the cartridge. Yeah. Including the cartridge. Uh, what is the cartridge? <coughs> Moving coil? Moving magnet? It's an, an SPU from... Oh, uh, from should have known. <laughs> yeah. It's a very nice looking SPU uh, in a, a Bakelite housing. So not the standard, let's say, plastic housing, yeah, yeah. it's a Bakelite. Real Bakelite, yes. wow. Yeah, looking beautiful. And that comes with it for 12,000? Yes, correct. Wow. It comes with it. Nice. And that's all? 
That's all <laughs> for today. <laughs> the performance DC with a tangential tracker. solo for you now that has never been played by a human being before <laughs> but I have to prepare myself so I'm gonna do it quick now prototype of the streamer and the DAC and that's a called SD880 that that is the source of the information now then we have a C and, and the company is AVIC obviously this okay. is AVIC and that's uh, umbrella company is audio group Denmark okay and everything which which you see here uh, except for Nagra is audio group Denmark so electronic is AVIC uh, SD880 streamer then we've got the C880 which is a preamp with the uh, a special model of the uh, analog uh, uh, filtering thing, so we got the low uh, pass and high pass filters. Then we have a two pair of the AVIC P880 power amplifiers, so we do the horizontal, I think, uh, amping. And the speakers are another company which is a part of the audio group Denmark, and they are called Borensen right. M6s. That's a top of the class and the, the best, the, the most beautiful sounding speaker uh, I ever met, uh, for sure. Uh, everything is cabled with the ANSYS cable with the gold signature, which is the top uh, line of the cable. Uh, and that's it, I think. I covered everything. Obviously, we've got a plenty of the resonance control things uh, from ANSYS, like uh, darks, like uh, power distribution bar to fight with the noise. And is that a million dollar system? Yeah, it's, a million it's, a, it's closer to two, actually. Two, yeah. two million. Uh, that includes the skybox for a year. <laughs> <laughs> and acoustic treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I think that when we uh, when we were aware that we could get this beautiful room, we said we take all the good stuff we have. Sure. And then let's see how far we can bring it. Yeah. And it is uh, they did a good uh, job of treating it acoustically yeah. well. So it's, it's uh, sounds good. So it's it it, it really. Uh, has that presence and uh, yeah. close to the music that we strive for. Yeah. Yeah. The, Good. The, he talked about the preamp. We have a, an analog crossover in there where you can independently vary the, 
the upper, the low cut and the high cut. So you can actually, if you have a problem in a room, move the crossover frequencies a little bit around it. So you can make a, if, if you can make a, a notch where typically at 80 hertz where a room moves sure, off and has yeah. a problem. So you can pull the, the high pass to 90 and the low pass to 70 and create a special. In the analog domain you can do In the analog yeah. domain. I don't fancy uh, digital domains because you have a latency issue. Yeah. And if you want to take your mid range and travel through a DSP, you're screwed anyway. So you, you, you lose your phase phase coherence? Is that what happens? Yeah, that's the way you get the phase coherence. Yeah. When you have similar slopes, then you have phase coherence yeah. around in 24 degrees. So, Great. so, so I, I think that, that latency is a major issue in DSP. That's yeah. why I think that most SOPs are very difficult to integrate in systems because they always lack this 20 or so milliseconds behind. Yeah.
wiem, bo to kiedyś się postawiło w pakieciku, to może mi ją chyba za 30 euro. No i mam tu na to widzieć. Trudno. Wszystkiego nie można być. Można być naraz. Można pokazał. Thank you.